All right, YouTube, we're playing some humans right now. I'm just in the first match. I forgot to hit the start button there. I think it's Lantern. And we're pretty cold to a whatever it is on turn one. On turn two, we're pretty cold to a uh, an ensnaring bridge. Game one, we just can't beat it. So we'll use the ability. That was pretty good. So let's go here. Um, I should say yes. Put this into play. Cavern on humans. And then play the freebooter. My phone's going to like salt off. This is the thought seize bug. Then we'll probably play the. Th <sighs> All right, so we're just gonna take. They're gonna ancient stirrings on their main phase. So we're just gonna take the um, thought seize. Because we can probably get whatever the Ancient Stirrings, or just Ancient Stirrings in their draw step. I'm pretty tempted to play Thalia's Lieutenant on my main phase, and then hit this, um, and then hit the this on their main phase, even though I lose out of a counter on this Phantasmal image. God, they ripped a bridge. Alright, I mean, we deserve that. So now it's like Noble Hierarch Beats are the only way that we win this game. Uh, yes. It's one good draw deserves another. So I could just force through as much damage as I can right now. Which is probably worth it. So let's just go like this. Oh, I can't cast this human. Oh, yeah, I can. I can go like this. All right. So let's play this. Then I can't attack with my freebooter. All right, I'm just going to attack first and then violin the lieutenant. And then after combat, target the phantasmal image or image the freebooter. Then just get their ancient stirrings. How do you auto stack these? This is what I want to know. God, playing humans on moto is so awful. There's so many triggers. My opponent, my opponent seems to be funny. Don't scoop to don't scoop size point. Oh, because I could image a noble hierarch. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. The problem is, is that I don't know how much longer I actually want to play this game. Considering, like, I could just, like, keep going here, but it's, it's not very good, like, entertainment value. <coughs> so I might just scoop it up here in a second. First mages were. That makes sense. They're going to be able to Inventor's Fair for something here. They probably should get another... They probably get like a... They must have a Pyrite Spell Bomb maybe. I don't know. They didn't have enough artifacts. They have another bridge. All right. Let's
were of invention. Whole lantern control. Everybody loves lantern. That's why you hold the images. I mean, I'm just gonna scoop it up here. Like, I think I've had enough. Like, I, I could obviously play this out and hope, but like, I think I'm good. It's not worth my like life to win potentially what two thirds of this win like get a three percenter here okay look at this reclamation stage the buglers probably aren't great um the reflector mages aren't great either so the buglers are probably better than the reflector mages none of the other cards seem good so we're gonna, we're gonna go like this. Well, it doesn't find the sage, right? Because of decay slash so ether grid, that makes sense. Um, hope I get to do this again. What do I want to take out? Um, probably like Thalia's lieutenant. Try this. Is, it, is Bugler 2 power or 2 CMC? 2 power, so it does hit it. It does, yep. Yeah. I thought it was 2 CMC. I probably don't need Thalia's Lieutenant, right? Like, it's more about disruption. So we want a noble hierarch in our opener. We have a noble hierarch, but we have nothing else. I think this is a pretty easy mulligan. We can, we can do a lot of redrawing, and noble hierarch is that good. What happens if we just go noble hierarch on one, meddling mage on two, and then attack? Like meddling mage bridge, play noble hierarch. Like, is that crazy? I played I, I played enough of Philip and Nathan. To decide that I was I was done with it. I think I keep this thing, yeah. Because I'm going to have plenty of mana. And Noble Hierarch is, is, the, is the beater. Like, it doesn't actually do anything right now, but... Noble Hierarch is just too good. It's too good. Didn't even finish the league. I had had enough. I think it was all super light on light. You both. That's what Thalia. Yep. Thalia is just an underrated card. It's just very aggressive in all aspects. <coughs> Creature spells. I hate how you have to click on it. It's like I know we're doing creature spells. I gave it a try. Gave it a try. And that, that was that was enough. That's a really good draw. So let's go white, blue, name and snaring bridge. Alright, and then let's just get in here with the beater. Rex Age is a pretty sick draw. Then, uh, is Decay better than Spellbomb? Or Pirate Spellbomb? Is that what they can find? Kill me Tom's number. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that to you, Nathan. I'll text it to you after. Tonight. <coughs> this card is busted. I hate that this card is legal. Hate it. No, no, I was talking about because of Inventor's Fair.
right, so we are drawing a land, drawing another meddling mage, so now we're just going to... So I could just meddling mage another... I think I'm just going to meddling mage bridge again, yeah. Okay. Two pyroclasms off from the sideboard then, mage were, okay. I always get nervous. I, I don't know if it's always better to like meddling mage different things or like meddling mage is the same thing. <clears throat> okay. I don't need work. Yeah, this game's pretty good. Play Mantis Rider on two, maybe. Probably not. We probably don't play Mantis Rider on two. Probably just play, like, Freebooter or Thalia. Probably play Thalia. <clears throat> this is fine, but you need to shut off. Getting a bridge. I guess Whirr is different than renaming. Like, it's different because Whirr puts it right on the battlefield. Like, that makes sense. It would, be, it would be different if they could not circumvent the battlefield. Circumvent the battlefield. <clears throat> I think I play Thalia on two here. So we're going to go Noble into Thalia instead of the Freebooter. That is what my, my heart says. We drew this. You also named bridge, then were because bridge allows the cheaper. Okay. All right. I'm going to take my Freebooter, which is kind of annoying. But that's like the obvious take from them. All right, so I think we go Thalia. And then Meddling Mage next turn. No, that was so stupid because they have a Mox. But they have to pay mana to turn the Mox on. So we're good. Okay. Because they need to add like a, like something to the board here. So they definitely have a bridge. <clears throat> yeah, they're just like trying to do it. I know they're gonna whir. So they were for one, probably a lantern. Okay, we're gonna hit a meddling mage, which is great. <clears throat> one, two, three, one, two, one. So now we just say bridge. And they need at least they need one more mana to get under the bridge. Okay, so they're gonna shuffle. That's so good for us. That is so good for the home team. So we're gonna play this. Give me one second, chat. My wife's giving me a call. Hello? Okay, so now we just go like this. 
white, blue, name and snaring bridge, ensnaring bridge, and we just clock them for three. Cycle our horizon canopy at the end of turn. And then probably just play Mantis Rider after that. They can worm me with an untapped land. So if I find an image, I'm going to want to hit this. Show me a disruptive card. <clears throat> so I probably just want to play the Bugler. Like attack with both of these, play the Bugler, look to find something. Deck on Stream Decker is old. Okay, yeah, let me do that right now. Play me Stream Decker. Thank you for telling me that. Upload new humans. We should be good now. I just need like a hundred tickets worth of stuff to do it. Yeah, but don't I want to try to find a two mana disruptor for next turn? Right? I think that's what I want to do. I think I just want to crack for four and try to find another lock piece because I think they have a whir. If they have another whir, we can't beat bridge currently. If they have whir, they need one more mana and we might be able to get under that. So I think we're going to attack with these two and then cast Bugler. Because like the Mantis Rider is not, it's 7-7, seven, seven, so it's still a three-turn clock. Next turn we attack for four, then we attack for nine. So it's the same clock either way. Oh, I shouldn't have played my land. Get to Buglin. Oh, we hit a Noble Hierarch, which, like, isn't that bad, actually. Uh, I probably should hold this. If they do play Pyroclasm, I'm going to want this after they Wrath my board. So. <clears throat> yeah, the the um, it's actually like underrated how good it is. Padine. All right, I'm gonna crack this first. Now we're gonna now we're gonna get riding. Blue, no, hang on. Uh, white, red, blue. <coughs> Spadim's annoying for sure. They block here, takes five. Next turn, take at least five. Or we just attack with Thalia next turn. Then they're dead. Do my opponent's artifacts have hexproof? Why would I attack with Thalia? They just eat it. When I can do it next turn and then get them for the same amount? Send a message. Assert dominance. This Padim is going to get pretty annoying, actually. Because I can't Noble Hierarch underneath the bridge. Really tapping a green four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just played another opal. I don't get that. All right, let's put this bad boy on the stack. 
Yeah, it does seem like a word. All right, so now we just name word. Word invention. And now we crack them. We play another Thalia after combat, too. Take seven. Do we get him? All right, sweet. <coughs> sweet. Where are my slippers on? Feet are kind of cold. Okay. I think this deck is surprisingly easy. Like, it's just a very good deck that does its thing very well. I just want to make sure that I'm not, like, missing the boat on this deck being amazing. Well, again. Like, if this deck is nuts, I'm going to play it. But, all right, we're going to keep this. This doesn't really do... I don't think we want... Do we want a Mantis Rider? I don't think so. I think we want a Disruptive card. We already have enough beef. <sighs> Not losing the Lantern is always good. Oh, we're playing a Death Shadow deck. Hopefully. <coughs> what the fuck is this? God, these images are going to get so bad if we don't draw another land. Oh, we're playing against Jun Shadow. Spicy. I lost Jun Shadow today. Now, oh man, that's so bad. Now my images don't do anything. What a beating. They don't have Delirium. They have a turn two Shadow, which is a very good draw. Now we're just like super dead. Can I click this? Okay. <coughs> this is the beads for sure. I see why people board out these phantasmal images. This is probably a pretty solid. I think this is a solid matchup. Like this is why I stopped playing Jun Shadow. If that, you know, says anything. I'm gonna copy that Tarmor Life. And it's not gonna matter. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, both teams played hard. <laughs> For sure. Both teams played hard. Alright. Um, Champion's good. Reflector Mage is good. I think the Bugler might be, like, we might not need all of our Buglers. These Phantasmal Images are probably not great. This Meddling Mage is decent. A meddling Mage is nice because I know everything in their deck. Which is kind of cool. I kind of just want to cut these and maybe play one more of these. Let's try this. There's definitely something nice about playing with Meddling Mage if you know the format very well. It didn't even matter. Exactly. That was... That was a beating. Yeah, I mean, I stopped... This is the reason I stopped playing Gun Shadow. So I just could not beat this deck with any regularity. Alright, we're going to keep this hand. I don't like mulliganing against this... Against a thought... A discard deck. We can't cast our Aether Vial on one, but we can go, like, land into Hierarch. So, like, th this hand could go south quickly. I think if this land did produce mana, 
for the vial, I would play it. I would play the vial. <clears throat> Kabah. Two, right? Guys got shot only do one damage. Thoughtseize, okay, so our hierarch's living. Okay, I took my meddling mage. That is interesting. Okay, so let's let's play so I can go champion into noble hierarch or I can go champion into vile. I think I want to go champion into vile. Getting a vile active is really good. It's slow, but we are on the play, so Yeah, it is. There. <laughs> that shock. That shock. Oh, I went shock. Okay. So you usually get a thirteen with this deck, which means they probably drew that fetch land because you would always fetch. They decay that. All right. Yes. All right, human. All right, we are serving. White, red, blue. Crack five. Opponent is making me want to play Jun Shadow, but I know I can never be. Yeah, the the online meta game is like awful. I enjoyed hunting back in the day. I do feel better now that I am eating better with my wife, but freaking Gaddick Teague. I was like my opponents had a pretty anemic draw. They need like a shadow here in order to have any shot. The problem is if they play a shadow here, then I'm just dead to battle rage. Okay. Bringing Gaddick Teague. They do have other cards there, Andrew. God. I wish... Do you know what I would do to get like founders all day? I founders to just sponsor my stream, even if it was just like they gave me a T-shirt and like a twelve pack. I literally drink their beer when I stream all the time, and people are all. I always like shout them out on like people whenever on my YouTube videos they get comments about founders IPA. Like all I want is founders to be like, oh man, look at all this free, look at all this free advertising. Let's go and. Give this guy, I don't know, a t-shirt. I would take a t-shirt. Definitely not wearing a Siege Rhino helmet. They don't want to pay me. I want a t-shirt. That's all I want. I want a t-shirt. A t-shirt or a 12-pack. Preferably a t-shirt. I've had, like, so many people call me or on my on my Twitch streams, just be like, well, on my YouTube comments, like, dude, I love Founders. I'm like, me too. That Oriac Champion's a pretty good draw. It's nice that Oriac Champion just brick walls Death Shadow. Do I have to pay taxes on that income if I don't make enough money? Like, through Twitch? Like, shout out to all the subscribers. But, it doesn't make, like, you don't make a, you know, a huge amount of money. On Twitch, to say the least. So we're going to slam this Oriok champion. Do we got a Death Shadow? Yeah. We got a Shadow Bud? Thoughtseize, okay. 
I make like between 40 and 50 bucks a month streaming. All right, so what do we name here? What is bad for us? This deck plays like four Fatal Pushes, or it plays at least that many. We have a Reflector Mage, so we're just going to name Fatal Push. I think... Is that enough to make it worth it? What is it, like $600 is the lowest amount? Am I going to have to claim this on my taxes? Yeah. Because I knew, I knew back when I used to uh, ref basketball. Death Shadow. When I used to ref basketball back in the day. Get that marginal tax rate, boy. <laughs> oh, thank you very much there, Andrew. I appreciate it. All right, so we're just going to reflect a mage, this boy. Blue, white, bang. Then my opponent is dead. Yeah, this is why I, I you just can't play this. I love Traverse Shadow. It's one of my favorite decks I've ever played, but you just can't play it because of this. I was counting that, Nathan. White, red, no, hang on. Blue, white, red. No, shoot. Blue, red, white. <clears throat> mm hmm. Are you in K commanded? Oh, dismembered. Okay, full retail dismembered. So we definitely could lose to like Battle Rage. Tarmogoyf in the shadow is a good way for them to start to stabilize. Mage Strider. All right, let's get the Bugler. White, blue. Let's get a Reflector Mage. You're gonna kill me, dude. So here's the goal. We need to not die to Team or Battle Rage. I don't think we can block in such a way where we don't lose to Battle Rage. Because Death Shadow's 22. So we have 22 points of damage coming at us. 22 minus 6 is 16. So... If we just double block with these, we beat Battle Rage, and then we Reflector Mage this and attack. I think that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Another Shadow Gross. Okay, so cavern, human, white, blue. So maybe it was wrong of me to play around. We're going to bounce this. So maybe I'm not supposed to do that there. Uh, gut shots would be good. I think I think we have to, we can't play around battle rage now because yeah. Don't play a time of life. God. You're getting beat up, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Mantis Rider. Ancient Ziggurat is not a Mantis Rider. Alright, so what does Bugler do? Alright, let's Bugle. Oh, 
problem is I'm just like chump blocking for days here. Just get another bugler. I have to chump all these creatures. So maybe it was wrong of me to double block that Death Shadow and play around Battle Rage. Hey, DJ. But no. So we're pretty much like looking for a Mantis Rider now. God, I'm gonna get so much shit after talking so much crap about this deck and losing. Okay, Mantis Rider off the top. All right. <clears throat> Um, let's go like this. I don't think there's anything I can hit, but we might as well find out. Nope. GG's opponent. They got me. <coughs> no, but that circling around. Founders, people, very few 20 people, they watch... Me drink your beer on stream and then people comment on my YouTube videos about how they like your beer you should send me a t-shirt all I want is a t-shirt I deserve that I'm gonna tweet at him you all should retweet my tweet so that I, I all I want in life is a founders IPA t-shirt Join some founders brewing all day IPAs. If only I had a t-shirt. It's all I want in life. But I know I've made it. You all should hook me up and retweet this. That's what you should do. All right, let's go like this. The only time I've ever used Twitter was to call out Zach Elsick. Are you the type of person who plays Godfrey's Gift? Or... <laughs> I'm a person that doesn't touch a Godfrey's Gift, if we're going to be honest. I'm going to mulligan. This hand's not good enough. This hand is good enough. Put that on top. Human... <clears throat> Andrew, you can start using Twitter again if you want to yell at me. I'm totally cool with that. All right. So let's get uh, Loot Scoot and Booty. Free Loot and all. This is going to get passed. If you path it, it does just make my, my bugler better. The old bugle boy. Um, guess we'll just take this path to exile. I do like the ramp. This should be a fun matchup. They're going to be able to strip mine me, though. They drew spreading seeds, okay. So they still have wall owens in their hand. I think I'm just gonna bugle. Play this Dahlia, play this. Then next turn go Freebooter into uh, Meddling Mage, and then follow up with a Thalia. Oh, we gotta like Freebooter this path to exile. Now probably actually. Okay, so they just hit my land. I guess I could have played around that. Let's 
Serum Visions. So they play their Field of Ruin. They still have a Wall of Omens. Capnet would be sweet right now. Not gonna lie. So let's start off here. I'm gonna attack first. Let's. Get him with the Bugle Boy. Get Bootin. Deprive. Whoa. All right, I'm going to take this path to exile. Then we're going to Meddling Mage Supreme Verdict. <clears throat> okay, so they played an island, which they drew. No, they played their ghost quarter. Okay, so they have deprive and logic knot. So whatever I do is going to get counted. So I think I'm going to play this Thalia first. So I'd rather this Thalia get countered. I guess I would rather, I don't know. Either of these are fine to resolve. I should have attacked first. So this name Supreme Verdict. So we're just going to take this to Fairy and crack my opponent. I do want to turn the heat up though. We're on we're on the front foot. It would be good to end this game quickly. So the Mantis Rider is going to help out. They do have a deprive. That's a good draw. So let's go like this. Human. Red. I might be overextending, but like, such is life. I don't really want to attack with this meddling mage because I could flash in a restoration angel or not a restoration angel, a snapcaster and block it. And it just gets chumped by the wall of omens, anyways. Spreading seas, okay. Search for Azkanta. They played an island. So I know their last two cards. I guess I should have cast that Reflector Mage. They would have had to counter it, which would have been nice. Yeah, that was a mistake. So block, block, take a lot. And then we just hope that they don't rip on us. Because if they do rip, this game is wicked over. I definitely should have cast that Reflector Mage because it, it makes them deprive. They would fetch and go to one. Nice. Got him. All right. Begin sideboarding. So Reflector Mages are garbage. Sin Collectors are great. Bugle Boy is great. These Reclamation Sages actually might be decent. Because they play like, they might play Detention Sphere, but I don't really know what else I want to take out. Probably can cut one Phantasmal Image. No, actually, I think I like the image better than the Thalia's Lieutenant. Is it worth it bringing in to hedge against like 
Detention Sphere to play this card? Or is that, like, just, you know, overshooting? Eh, I think we're just going to go with it. We are just going to go with it. Um, yeah, this hand's really good. It'd be nice to have a vial. If we could talk like a vial, that'd be sweet. I'm gonna try to save this Thalys Lieutenant, I think, until we can, like, kill him with it. I don't mind if they spreading seeds this one. This Thalys Lieutenant would be a great, like, surprise card, in my opinion. If they spreading seeds this, it actually almost makes it a better land. Yeah. All right, so let's take a piece now. Okay, so we're just going to take this path. They can spreading seas. They're, they're going to be able to spreading seas. So maybe I should have taken the spreading seas. I don't know. Probably should have because they're going to be able to spreading seas this land. Then I can't cast Sin Collector. Yeah, that makes sense. So now I have to like free boot. They are going to harass my lands quite a bit. So now I probably just go either Thalia or Sin Collector. I'm not sure. I kind of just want to play the Thalia, I think, because it makes their hand more difficult. Human. Then if I draw a land next turn, I can, like, double. Um, if I play a land next turn, I can then double Freebooter plus Phantasmal Image because it just makes it blue. They found an island. Attention sphere. Okay. What are you taking? Mathalia? Thalia would make sense. Oh, take free reader. Okay. That also makes sense. So now we want to hit a land really bad. Because we can cast two spells. Tilt. So I'm going to take. Attack them, and then I'm going to take their Supreme Verdict so that they have to path me to give me another land. I think that's better than playing. We can't play Vile, but we just need lands, and like getting lands would be great because it would just like help us. So let's just take the Supreme Verdict. Make them one for one. The next turn I can go like Freebooter into Phantasmal Image, hopefully. Ooh, that's interesting. They can still path, I guess. Yeah, I can't play Sin Collector without a land, so I'm hoping that they path me. Because if they path me, they're going to at least help fix my mana. Which they didn't do. This is still okay. Because I can go here. Target this. Always yield. So now I can take their path to exile. So do I take the path? Probably. I just have to be careful about Blessed Alliance. But I probably just have to make sure I attack with my Thalia. Playing with these lock pieces is fun. Another land will also be sweet because it can get our ether vial going. It is. So they ripped a verdict, okay. So 
So now we'll just play this. So they have verdict. They have whatever we see here plus verdict and path. Play the hollow fountain. Yes, I will get a planes. And they play search. Okay. It's gonna be a tough one to win. Yes. Well, that's a good start. It does like I'm gonna get two for one, but at least the bugler replace itself. Replaces itself, excuse me. Get a noble. The noble doesn't even help me cast any of my spells, which is sad. So we're just gonna vial. Like there, he'll probably wrap the board here, and then we'll vial in this champion of the parish. And then probably in response to the vial, I'll vial in the noble hierarch and take it up to two. Because they 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 have these two cards plus path plus supreme burden. Timely. Well, that sucks. I really want to commit something more to the board there. Um, yes, we're going up. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to attack with both of these. I want to find a way to like finesse him through his wrath of God. I think I want to just vile this thing in here. Getting the wrath out of his hand is going to be more important. Get a little bit of damage in. He then wraths our board. They still like kind of waste their their timely. We get in our, our bugler replaces itself, so it's like not awful. And then next turn we can go like champion in the sin collector and really start like making way. Okay, so they're gonna path that, which is okay. It kind of sucks we drew our land, but. <clears throat> so we have Blessed Alliance, Cryptic Command, Supreme Burdens. Really surprised that they use that. Okay, the Colonnade's not good. So I think I just kind of go start going for it here. Like, go like this. He can cryptic and then tap my team. But if he does that, then I just vial in this sin collector and then get this, um, and then I get this, uh, whatever it is, this supreme verdict in their hand. I don't think we're beating too, too much at this point. All right, so let's draw steps and collect our opponent. They're going to activate search. Getting into the trials, that doesn't do anything.
Put this guy in. Hope they didn't get another wrath. Always yield. Always yield. Always yield. All right, so let's take this verdict. We can play little gids. Okay. Target that. No. All right, so let's start here. Let's draw a card. <clears throat> so if I attack with all my creatures, it gets around the Blessed Alliance. We probably go at the Gideon. I guess I might as well play this champion. Human. Play this guy. What the heck? Playing humans on Moto is so annoying because of like the, the more clicking that you have to do. Okay, so attack Gideon. Attack Gideon. Attack my opponent. Attack Gideon. This should work because we'll just sack this Noble Hierarch. Are they Blessed Alliance me? I guess the Gideon will only go to one. All right, then I'm just going to draw step him again. Just didn't even block the one that I sent at him. Yeah, another Blessed Alliance. That card is not very good against the Noble Hierarch deck. Let's put the Sin Collector in. How do you go like auto stack? Or isn't that like seven, something like that? Okay, so let's just take this Cryptic Command. And just like slam into our opponent for a million damage next turn. If they want to play Colonnade and Block, like whatever. Wow. We just named Blessed Alliance. Playing something new. I don't want to miss the boat on this deck. If this deck is busted, then I don't want to, like, not play it. Because this is my kind of deck. Like, it's, it's an aggressive, disruptive deck. Okay, so there's gain life. So now if they just do this twice, then we're just going to name Jace. So now we just name Jace. And then we just attack with everything. Because even if they block this, it doesn't matter. I guess they can colonnade, so that was kind of stupid. What can they eat? They can eat my bugler. They can eat something with colonnade, but like, whatever. I didn't think about this. I didn't think about this attack too much before I sent it in there. God, can you imagine my opponent finds a Wrath, how bad that is? Crypt Command, okay. The old Tread and Water. I 
No, 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 no. I, I played Grixis Shadow today. I'm just playing something new. Because, like, this deck might be busted. Like, the Bugler was the issue that the deck... Like, the Bugler fixes the issues the deck had. And I don't want to, like, miss the train. You know what I mean? Wow. That actually just kills my opponent if they don't. Not necessarily. Because we didn't name Blessed Alliance with this. So if we just send in our Mantis Rider, it makes so they can't activate it as Kanta, which I'm kind of all about. I'm kind of all about messing up this search for his Kanta if I can. I guess I should have saved. I could have saved that for another after a wrath, I guess. Yeah, that was probably better. I just did it like this in order to kind of prevent a search for his Kanta activation. I don't think this is going to get banned. This is just an aggressive humans. This is like an aggressive disruptive deck, which is just all modern is. All right, so that's okay. Sacrifice an attacking creature. I probably should have waited to, to have that afterwards. Exactly. Like, I just want to make sure that, like, because this, this deck had a flaw. I just want to make sure that I don't miss out on the flaw, on the fixing it. Because I can play this deck. I've played this deck in the past. I do like it. It's just aggressive and disruptive, which is right up my alley. All right, that's a good sign for the home team. Settle the wreckage. All right. No. So we just have to attack with like enough creatures to make it so that he can't spot removal us, but he has to settle. So I kind of like just attacking with like these three. Because we don't want him to just go path and then get out of it. We want to make him settle. Make it worth it. Because if he just goes like, if I just attack with two, then he just paths one and takes two. Or takes four. We just want to like try not to get rid of anything. We're just going to pass. <clears throat> so we know they have a Jace, which we have named. I'm going to tap my Vile at the end of their turn, see what they do. I'm going to grab another bear also, see what they do. <laughs> They find a Terminus, it looks like. Oh, a Baneslayer Angel? All right. So what does Bane... Baneslayer Angel doesn't really do anything, right? They have to have Baneslayer Angel Plus. All right, let's see if this gets them to do anything. Is the human attribution really still unfair? I don't think it's that unfavored, to tell you the truth. I think it's pretty close. Once you build your deck to, like, play that control role, I think it is pretty good. So I guess we just send it, right? Because they block here. They take they gain five. But then they still take three. So they go to 13. I guess they still go to one. But if we play some humans, that's not the case. So we play this. Because now they take 11, they take 11, 13, and they die. So, like, probably seems that wrong. Probably should have played the champion. Just going to crack in with all my creatures. I'm going to attack with a Hierarch, too, in case they have another Blessed Alliance. So, a deck that wrecks humans and still is pretty decent against Tron now. No. 
So now they block this, take 10, gain 3. Yeah, I mean, the best way to play humans is to play, like, spot removal or just, like, not interact with them. So now they can play Jace. Yeah, we're just we're we're dead. We're just gonna scoop it up here. Go to the next game. Give ourselves plenty of time. Cause we're gonna play Jace, bounce my champion, and then they're gonna have a Bane Slayer Angel in play. So like, there's just no need. There's no need to keep playing that game. Especially, I don't play very fast, so I would like to. Uh, I would like to make sure I can take my time. So, do we want these Reflector Mages? Now that we know they're gonna have Bane Slayer Angels, do we want like one or two? Like, these Thalia's Lieutenants don't seem great. I'm going to board in, like, one of these, just so that we can draw to it. These Thalia's Lieutenants seem pretty awful. We had a new subscriber. You might have seen it in the bottom right corner of my stream of my stream on YouTube. That's what you also do. Just go to YouTube, subscribe. I appreciate all that. I'm almost up to 400 subscribers, which is pretty great. Yeah, we're gonna keep this hand. File makes bugler much better. Like we we need lands, but like we're going to draw lands. And like we can just flash in the noble hierarch also to kind of help stress fix the stress of that problem. Us drawing our one reflector mage is rough. We don't want it now. We want to land here so we can free rooter. Come on. Nope. We're just going to pass. I'm going to Thalia in on their turn, or Noble Hierarch in on their turn, so they can't use their mana right now to path me. Even though I guess pathing me wouldn't even be that bad. Put in this guy. Now we're going to play. I think I'm going to lead off on the Thalia. Well, I can play both. Holy shit. So let's go like this first. Play Thalia. So they can't black one. And now we're just putting the squeeze on them. Wow. I guess it just takes Supreme Verdict and then hope they don't hit off this path. <clears throat> Okay, they did hit, so they are going to be able to path me. And then they'll be able to Supreme Verdict. No, that was so stupid. They could path me anyways. Duh. Oh, that was dumb. Um, yes. So let's crack in here. Yeah, that was very dumb of me. We're going to look to, if they wrath me here, okay, that's fine. If they wrath me, we're going to look to play Bugler at the end of their turn and then play Magic Rider in our upkeep. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? Okay. They missed the land drop. So how greedy do we get? I think we're gonna bring in this bugler. We're gonna look for just something to name Supreme Verdict. Yep, that name Supreme Verdict.
no. So now I think we're just going to push damage. Our name. No, we have the Supreme Verdict, so we know their hand. So I guess we just name Supreme Verdict again. Or Detention Sphere. Yeah, we just named Detention Sphere, I think. Oh, I knew about that. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. All right, whatever. We're still going to serve. <clears throat> We're playing fast and loose tonight. Yeah, I just made a mistake there. I play Devoted Coco with Knights. I like both my Tron and Humans matchup. Yeah, that was so stupid. I was just, that was just so loose. All right. How much damage can I push across next turn? If my opponent doesn't kill me, search. So, my opponent is dead. They don't have a path. Because this is what? Reflector Mage. One, one, three, six, ten, fourteen. Yeah. So let's ref let's cast let's vial this in. We always play fast and loose. Everyone's good at something, dude. I think my opponent's dead. If you were in the Twitch chat and you just did that subscription, I appreciate it. Play Lieutenant and respond. I guess I probably should have done that. That would have been. I, I don't. I don't see that. That kind of that plays very often. They did find a path. Are they gonna path their own creature. They're gonna path my creature. So they have a path. So if I path, this is four, four, nine, four, nine, twelve, four, four, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. So they have to path something that's not that. They can't. They can't path this. They got to path something else. So we do, we just jam this in order to make it so they have to they have to use their path. They can't use it on this kite sail freebooter. Then we're good. Then we just send it. Okay, yes. They have a detention sphere, but <clears throat> whatever. We can actually, like, bugler into... This is why it's sweet. The bugler is sweet with the vial. It appears my opponent hit a wrath. They have another wrath, which isn't good. Oh, this is not good. No. So they have another Wrath. So do I just play Champion? Play Noble. Play Champion, play Noble. And then they Wrath, and then we just flash in the Bugle Boy. <clears throat> I think if the blue I think the blue red wizards deck is fine. Like, here's what I think about modern. I think there's a top tier of modern that has a much higher power level than most of the format. Then there are all decks that are aggressive, linear, or aggressive and disruptive. <clears throat> Tilt. And they have a Snapcaster too. <clears throat> so I guess I still just flash this Bugler in. Um, I think the Blue Eye Wizards deck is fine.
Now if we had a Mantis Rider, we got him. All right, Sin Collector is actually pretty decent. No. This game, this match has been awesome. So they have to snap path anyways. And then I can draw step this. Which tier? I think Grixis Death Shadow is the top tier of the format, in my opinion. I think if you put the time in to learn it, I think it is both aggressive, disruptive, and and very powerful. The hard thing with Grixis Death Shadow is it's hard to play. Yeah, I think any deck in modern that is aggressive and disruptive is fine. I don't know why I attacked with this hierarchy. I just clicked attack all. That's what happens. Yeah, I mean, it might be biased for sure. I think, like, the top decks in the format are, like, apparently blue-white control, like, this this Bridgevine deck, humans, KCI, Tron, Grixis, Death Shadow. They have the Baneslayer Angel, too, and they're just going to slam it. Take this verdict. We're dead, most likely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're super dead here. Because we can't we, we use our reflector mage. I probably could have played this game like a little better to have another chance. I'm sure that if I played this, I think I would have won this match if I'd have played it better. Which is, it's, that's good showing from this deck. I mean, this deck's probably not supposed to beat decks like this. And the fact that, I think I would have if I would have, if I'd have done this right. I don't understand why blue-white control is good, but it is. I, I don't understand it. Like, it, it keeps winning. And it, like, did, did well at the Pro Tour. Like, I just don't get it. I certainly think that. Like, I would never touch that deck with a 10-foot pole. One, two, sounds like we moved to Grace's Shadow now. Uh, no, not tonight. I think I'm going to play Humans tonight. I'm, I'm about good with Grixis Shadow for today. I played a really tight match with Ben Nicolich, which was fun. I might try a version of the deck without looting. Just learn to embrace, embrace Celestial Colony. You'll never go back. I might play one more league with this after, depending on how this goes. Um, I think I want to keep this hand. And this hand might not be good, but I want to keep it because it has a bugler and a vial, and I just want to like, I just want to do that. That's all I want to do this league. I don't know if I would keep this at an event, but I want to keep it now. I definitely was a little frustrated. It might, it might be results-oriented, but I played against two fair decks today, and Faithless Looting did hurt me today, which was definitely a little frustrating. So it might be being results-oriented, but... I liked, Ma I liked Magnus Lantos deck, except I didn't like the main deck Cake Command. Okay, so we're going to lose this game because we, you know... I think I don't think we have enough of a clock... Human. Cool. I asked someone to go GP in four months. I wanted to start predicting six. I first shadow you as a GP. Both those are fine. I think Kira is straight average. I don't think Kira, like, so I played Kira. Um,. I don't think Kira is bad, and I don't think that Kira is that great either. Like, I would look to replace Kira if I could, and I would not feel bad playing it, though, if that makes sense.
Uh, yes. Okay. That's actually a pretty nice draw. So, cavern naming human. I, I have never been super high on Pyromancer, Ben. I think if I was going to play Akira, I would play the fourth Snapcaster Mage before. If, if you're on the three Snapcaster build, I think I would play the third, the fourth Snapcaster before that. I've never been a huge Pyromancer fan because I think it just, you lose to still the same things. Like, you use to Vertex. Um, so they have Karn. She's a non-creature card. Exile that card. I mean, I guess we can't go wrong freebooting him. But I mean, we're going to be able to freeboot him anyway. So let's just take the Thalia's Lieutenant. Let's just attack here. And then in my opponent's draw step, Vial in. This is where the Bugler is not. Like, the Bugler is, like, very similar to, like, a Bloodbraid Elf for humans when you have, um, when you have, like, this kind of setup here. Oh, I guess Phantasmal Image is really poor against Walking Blista. So maybe that was wrong to do. Yeah, I, I think Seer Visions is great. I think everybody that, plays Seer, that doesn't play Seer Visions is just crazy. So they have Power Plants. So we're just going to take this Expedition map. Just harass them. I think Seer Visions just adds like such a consistency to the card. And as soon as you... As soon as you like start playing... Yeah, there's a Blista. It adds just a whole level of consistency, and it plays well with Bobble. Um, do we want to use the Vile's ability? I don't think so. Because we could draw two drop and then go two drop, Vile, two drop, so no. I'll tilt. Like, Serum Vision is just a fantastic card, and it works really well with Street Wraith, works really well with Bobble. All right, so let's attack. We're going to lose this map. Yeah, I definitely think, I think you can, like, if anybody told me they wanted to do something different with uh, their cantrips, and they want to argue between Bobble, Looting, and, um, they want to, oh, shoot, shoot, I, did the, I didn't do this for the damage, so I was talking. All right, well, now, I guess we're just going to play this. Like, if, there's an argument between Bobble, Looting, and Faith, and, um, uh, Thought Scour, and I think that's totally legit to have, but I definitely think that. So they drew an eye. They drew that. Okay. I definitely think that it's wrong to not start with four Serum Visions. Because, like, even my deck, my deck's a little slower than Ben's deck, but it still turbos out a lot of really great draws, a lot of really fast anglers, very aggressive. The Moto Trophy Leader plays my main deck, but he, he agrees with me on it. Two, four, six. So this would be two. So two, three, six, eight. I really don't want to run this Reflector Mage out there. I'm probably just going to get Ugin and, like, cry. I'd like to mage a Worm Coil Engine. Oh, I guess he's second. Yeah. It, it's, it's like, his name's like GGS whatever. Oh, is this an Ugin? I wish I could Reflector Mage my own creatures. This just isn't worth playing through. <clears throat> but yeah. <coughs> That's life though. I think I misplayed at some point throughout here. Could have played could have played this better, I think. Let's get the wet ball. So Reveals their hand, you may choose an instant or sorcery card from it. Exile. So that's not one of those. We want reflect we want reclamation stage, excuse me. 
because it hits O stone. Is that even worth it? It just hits O stone and it doesn't even do anything with our human synergies. Though I don't know if Bugler is any good. Phantasmal Image doesn't seem great if they've got a lot of... Uh, Well, I mean, looting is card disadvantage, but sometimes Death Shadow is just such a better deck than what your opponent does that if you get it to operate, then it works. You can even go down a card. I've won so many games where I have less resources than my... Like, I've won so many games where I have less resources than my opponent just because my deck's way better than theirs. Uh, I want to go fast. It's probably the Buglers, even though I, I, I want to try the Buglers, but I probably have to go something like this. Let's try this out. Like I definitely, I definitely think that a lot of people, and I think this is, I think Brandon does. And if you're on Brandon's like style of thinking, I mean, I look at his deck. I think he overrates playing a long game versus just killing your opponents. And if you just kill your opponents, it's better than playing a long game. And Grixis Shadow can just kill your opponents. And if you need to change your deck after sideboard then you can do that to play a long game. That being said, if you ditch lootings and play Thought Scours, all of a sudden you can kind of do both a little better. Um, yeah, we'll just keep this. Play the Vial on one, play the Wet Ball on two, and then play... This is a really good hand. I should not play Horizon Canopy on one, though. Ooh, I can't play the Wet Ball because of Horizon Canopy. Whoa. Sorry about that, chat. Earthquake. I could also play the champion. I'm actually probably just going to vial in the champion and play Thalia's Lieutenant. Just start like really putting the hurt on my opponent. Do you, do you, but on the inside, Teddy, do you really hope that happens? I think you hope that happens. But you just, you, on the deep, deep down, you just want to like, oh man, I hope he gets him. My camera's still fucked up. Let me see my camera. Yeah, my camera's messed up. Laptop streaming, baby. If you're still in the chat, Ben, I would love it if you could, like, ship me your list on Twitter or something like that. I, I always love playing different shadow decks. Playing visions. One place, one quickly. One place, one entire like this. Yeah, but if you play Bogle, if you play, like, Bobble, like, I think the decks should play Bobble. Like, Bobble, you, like, you should slant your deck to set up turn two Angler. But you can slant your deck to set up turn two Angler and still play high-quality magic cards. So now we're just going to go, we're, we're going to set up a clock. My opponent's hand's garbage. I'm going to take a stirrings. If they only have one, if they, I don't know. We'll just have to name this Eugene here. I certainly would like to um, be able to get this wet ball down, but we, we might just be able to power them out. Okay, so now they've got... Okay, we want this on two. Okay, that's nice. Q. 
Human. So now I think I just play the Dampening Sphere. Play Dampening Sphere. And then name something like O Stone. Right? Dampening Sphere. Name O Stone. Crack for four. Then play Lieutenant. Yeah. Playing with Meddling Mage is fun. Damping Sphere. Yeah, I always mess that up. Oblivion Stone. Then we crack in here. Next turn we hit for 5, 7, 10. So we have draws next turn to kill our opponent. No, I want to tell you, Dylan, but I want you to play like Shadow. Fix those two things that probably won't happen tonight. Yeah, that won't happen tonight. Oh, no. I have another event. I have a couple more events this weekend, so I definitely will be jamming. Okay, so that's just game, right? It might not be exactly game, but it's probably like pretty close. But if you had two angler more often, no, I'm saying Tom, Tom, I angler on two with consistency in the in the version that I play, and you don't need to play poor cards that make you lose match, lose, like play good cards like Serum Visions that are going to help you across the format. That are going to help you play more consistent games, more games of Magic, while still being very aggressive. That was explosive. The card disadvantage doesn't matter against a lot of decks, but I think that... Like, I'm going to try it. I'm not saying I'm off Faithless Looting. I, I have very... I've flirted... Your turn to Angler Frequency as the non-vision versions. No. Uh, no, not as Frequency as that. No, I, I do not turn to Angler as frequent as a deck that plays four bobbles. Like, if you take Ben Friedman's list, I don't turn to as frequently as Ben Friedman's list. But I do think that I play turn two angler while still being able to play longer games and being able to like interact with my opponent. I think that I play that much better. Um, what is this? Yeah, so submit. Like I, I, I think I play the aggro game. And that's why I like maybe I'm gonna try Lan uh, Magnus Lantos's main deck, main deck because he appears to play a very good long game. Because he's got the cantrips that help you play, play with Snapcaster Mage while being very aggressive. Uh, this hand's great. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna play Vile on one. Uh, we well, we could get beat up by Natural Tron here, which looks like is gonna happen. Okay, we're not going to get Natural Tron, which is good for the home team. Just going to crack this now. They're going to Sylvan Scries, okay. It's like not a bad play from them, I think. So I could play Thalia and tax their... I kind of want to play Thalia and then tax their, like... Setup cards because then we're gonna go freebooter, freebooter next turn. So let's just get this in here. So your deck is less online freebooters list. Are you just disadvantaging and measuring control decks the longer the game goes? I don't even think so. The more I play this deck, I think, like, especially after you sideboard, like, you just trade so efficiently on mana with respect to these other decks. Like, I played Ben Nicholas today, who's a fantastic magic player. And, like, 
he struggled in game two. I drew very anemically in game one, and he top decked me in game three to win. You know, and like he was playing, um, he's playing Jeskai Control. You know, like I don't think that, I think this Grixis Shadow deck is insane because it just trades so effectively on mana. Like Cryptic Command is such a joke when you play Stubborn Denial. Always yield. Wow. All right, so we take Karn. And then we're going to do this in their draw step. Yeah, we're, we're definitely in trouble here. Not necessarily, you get underneath them. Like, you just sit there, you play a Gurmag Eggler on turn two, or Death Shadow on turn two, and then you just trade so effectively with them with respect to mana that it's very difficult for them to kill your creatures. Okay, so what do we take here? Probably just take Ancient Stirrings. And then Prey. I'm trying to figure out whether the versions is just better or different. They're two. They're three different decks. So like, my deck or so Ben Friedman's deck is very all in, very like, very aggressive, very much like does not look to play a long game. It's basically Ben's deck is Jun Shadow, but it plays one mana five fives instead of those, in my opinion. Brandon's deck is more of a mid range deck. What is this? Do you draw? I guess if they drew. Walking Ballista, that's bad. Yeah, this game's just like super over, right? I might not. We might just pack it in here in a second and go to another league. So they have Chromatic Sphere, Ulamog. So I guess we just like Reflector Mage this, they get Karn back. Yeah, let's just let's play another league here. Yeah, like the cards you lose to 